Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Great Day Grove Standard 7 and I am Apache One. So, in this video, we are going to see about how the plasma globe works and let, let me make it real. So now take a PVC pipe of 20 cm and this is the enameled copper wire. You can ask 26 gauge copper wire and even search in the internet. So now I'm going to start the winding. So the winding process is such a lengthy process so I'm going to skip it. But you can't skip it because you have to do it. So now the winding process is completed. I have skipped it as told you earlier. And at the both the enders, just uh, um, stick a tape or any tape. I am going to use a, just a scotch tape here, and as it is easily available near to me, so just take a stick a tape. Yes, that's completed. Now we are going to take a circuit from the old mosquito rat. I will show you how to take it easily. Just take the mosquito rat and. Unscrew the screws present in. In the same way, I will do it now. After removing, then gently remove it, the up, upper body of the mosquito rail. There, you can find a circuit which is attached to the batteries and the net. Now, just mark the positive and negative signs so that we don't get confused while doing the project. Yes, that is finished. Now cut off the wires or just desolder the wires. I have removed the battery connections and now I am going to remove the high voltage current. Yes, that's it. Now see the circuit. So the next process is to take the switches off. Not by desoldering it, but by just act by soldering a piece of wire to it just by attaching it we can take the switches out and i will show you how we can do it easily because this is a high voltage circuit if you have switches uh, in the circuit and uh, every time you have to on the switches unknowingly if you touch the circuit we can get a short risk uh, because we know what happens if you touch the high voltage now we can remove the tack to it because it is also risk to every time to touch it so it's the tack keep it earlier keep it in a safe place because we need it now attach two wires in the position of the tack switch do it in the same way as i do so it is easy for you to understand easily now we are going to attach a 9 volt battery in the same place of the battery of the mosquito rat. For this process only I have told you to mark the positive and negative connections above the circuit. So now it is easy for us. So I did it. Yes, that's finished. So now it's time to look it in the coil. We have to choose a perfect container, so I have chosen this box in which I am going to make this project plasma globe. Now we are getting the radius of the diameter and drawing a circle so that we can cut it and make a hole of it. 
Now I am going to just remove this enamel coating from this copper wire because this wire prevents the conductivity of the copper. So just have simple soldering and now we are going to insert the coil into the hole. Yes, in the same way, do like that. Now it's time for primary winding. The primary winding, just take a piece of wire and insert it into the hole. Just two to three turns. Three turns. I prefer it for you to have three turns. Yes, this is enough. So the basics of the coil work is completed. Now it's time to look at the circuit. Sorry, not the circuit, it is spark gap. And the spark gap is nothing but uh, just for uh, attractive purpose. So Make two holes in the hollow cylindrical material just opposite to each other and attach two screws with nearly touching each other but not touching just look like touching and in the same way please do so that it will be easy for you to follow my instructions now just attach a piece of wire to each of the screw so that it can be easily connected to the circuit yes i have already attached this wire by soldering so here it is and i hope everyone knows how it is, it is easy process only so do it on yourself now check whether the two screws are are nearly touching each other but should not touch because touching makes it easy connect the plasma will not be formed easily I mean the plasma will be the plasma is fine but if you ionize the air at a at one nanometer centimeter the ionized air produces some spark this is known, known as plasma so I have taken a switch just I have shown in the circuit diagram. The circuit diagram will be followed. Just connect two wires to the switches. This switch is old type switch. You can also choose a new type. But for attractive purpose I choose this switch because it is pretty attractive. So now how Solid on the two ways with the switch. Now it's time for connecting the switch to the box. You can also make the circuit in a breadboard, sorry, not a breadboard, in a cardboard, so that you don't make it complicated. If you are doing a project, it is better to get to do it in a cardboard because the the one who checks it expects the circuits to be seen from the outside so now I'm going to attach the switch yes that I completed now I'm going to screw it so go to the of it so the work is nearly completed now I'm attaching bias to the high voltage current The positive should be connected to the primary winding that is via the spark gap. This is a, here is a circuit diagram which you can choose it for making this plasma glow. I am going I am just cutting the positive to the spark gap and just soldering it and connect the another wire of the spark gap to the primary winding yeah now I'm going to just solder it it's a, it, pretty easy now just connect the secondary coil enamel wire and with the primary one so 
both should be connected to the ground which is a negative terminal of the high voltage for easy purpose i am connecting a wire to join both of both the secondary coil and the primary coils negative to end so next attach a wire and connect to the negative terminal and now we are just attaching the switches as i mentioned here we are taking out the switch and the two wires should be connected to the two wires of the switch the solving part is the most fun job in calculators i hope everyone loves it and now i'm connecting the secondary coil and primary coil negative to the negative terminal of the high voltage current so it's completed the circuit is finished the last part is to just add a tack to tack switch now take the wire out wait a little just after dragging it just connect the tack switch which is by soldering here is a closer view of it now the tack switch which was which we earlier removed from the mosquito bag is now going to use be very useful so we have we have connected the micro switch or tack switch so the circuit is almost sorry fully completed the next part is to close the it and we have attached the 9 volt battery to it sorry i have not taken the video of it so now we have going to test how it works before testing it looks like something missing yes the bulb is missing now i'm going to show it off the bulb with the secondary coil just saw it off it with the one of the terminal uh, as I do this piece problem instructions so it's completed now the circuit is ready but as a as a project it should have be colorful so I'm going to stick a black tape to it as the same so it's now the trigger so now it's time to check so before the taking I'm going to stick a sticker of our channel really take records not by seven yeah, here yeah, it is. It's attractive. So I have pushed it. So the next step is to check how it works. Three, two, one, start. I have all the switch and just going to on the tax switch. When I have the tax switch, the plus mode spot is produced in the spot gap. Wait a minute, I will show it clearly. Now you can show it, see it clearly. Oh, I hope. We can get a tiny shock when we place our hand near the coil because our hand acts as a conductor and it conducts a wireless current from a coil. Now the testing part. The most interesting part when I on the tack switch, you can see a white red color radiation is produced. That's the plasma book. We can see it clearly in the dark. Yes, here it is. So, let me come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And give us a thumbs up sign as a support and subscribe to my channel for further updates. And you can also comment how I can improve my upcoming videos in the future and i hope your comment will be very useful and thanks for watching it have a great day be creative that's it from a creative person goodbye